If you're watching this video now, it's obvious you would want to see how I design and develop a three-phase automatic changeover system ranging from design stage down to the implementation. My name is Magnus and I'll be showing you all this in this video. Making three-phase automatic changeover system can be achieved using any common switch such as these manual ones. Moving down to the automation of this system, electrical based switches are used such as the common contactors or the relays. I will briefly state the difference in using any of these switch types. When you google automatic changeover switches, you will commonly find designs made out of contactors because it can handle higher current unlike relays. However, contactors are self-triggered, unlike relays that require additional circuitry for trigger purpose. In design made out of contactors, all you need is simply knowing each terminals and simply connecting them. But while using relays, external circuitry will be required for the setup. And in this video, I will cover how you can build three-phase automatic changeover systems using relays. Here, I assembled all the components that I will be using for this project. I will be connecting these components using these block diagrams and the complete circuit diagram you will find at the end of the video. Starting with the block stage of phase voltage step down, full bridge rectifier and filter, I started implementation using the circuit diagram. I cut out the board size that I will need. I started off with the full bridge rectifier circuit. I did the same for all the different rectifier circuits. I used the electrolytic capacitor as the filter. I am using LM7812 voltage regulator for linear voltage regulation. After I have completed this part of the circuit, I move to the remaining part of the block diagram. I started off by drilling opening for the relays to fit in. Having the MOSFET in place, the board was looking like this. I assembled the rest of the components to complete the system. With all the components around, I started soldering. When I finished the circuitry for the first phase, I did the same for the next and on to the last phase as well. Now, I connected the transformers to the board and made the first test run. It worked out fine as expected and that was uplifting. After I have completed soldering on the external circuit, I covered a demonstration of the three-phase switching technique. I present to you a three-phase automatic changeover system which I have completed the design and I've tested it and it's currently working. So I'm going to make out this video for proper demonstration so that you see how the system actually works. So the first three relays you're seeing are basically for the three phase. Now this is for the generator, this is the generator and this is for the generator. The remaining two are for the generators. So these three transformers are basically um, acting as a sensor for different phase. I would have used a switch but since I I am yet to package the whole system I decided to use the breadboard I, I decided to cut the lines of connection from the transformer down to the system I decided to cut it and then looping it down to this breadboard using these jumper wires so what I'm practically going to be doing is simply this I will power the system on I connected their inputs together I'm using one single phase for the testing purpose so what I'll be doing now is to plug the system and um, 
once I, I remove any wire, that simply means that particular phase is off and you get to see what's going to happen at the output of the system. And bearing this in mind, the system at every point in time will simply be on. It will be on at every single, it won't bring out the three phase on at any time. It will bring out only one single phase on. Okay, I've powered the system. The red phase is on. I've removed the red phase to switch to the yellow phase. In 10 seconds the yellow phase is on assuming the red phase comes back again it will it will cut off the yellow phase and switch to the red phase after five seconds okay I guess I, I plugged it at the wrong terminal after five seconds it will switch to the red phase Assuming the red and the yellow phase are completely off, it will now delay for 15 seconds and move to the green phase. And that tells you all you need to know. So once the yellow phase is now plugged in, it will take 10 seconds and then switch back to the yellow phase. Now, once the red phase is back on, it will take 5 seconds and switch to the red phase. And that tells you all you need to know and that is the system working perfectly as per design. I now assembled all the components that will be added to the utility features of the system. I started off with the Patrice bus. I measured all the dimensions of these components and I duly noted them. I started drilling out spaces to fit them in. I started installing the various components. The board was looking almost ready for seal up and now I present to you the completed project of the three phase automatic changeover system. I tested the system and it worked out fine for the switching. The project is completed and I'm excited that everything worked just perfectly as per design. And as mentioned earlier, this is the complete circuit diagram. And I will also drop a link on the video description for you to download it. If you have been following our works on Facebook, you will know that we built this project using Arduino Uno, which is a lot easier to make as well. And if you want to learn about it, stick around by subscribing to our YouTube channel and click the little bell icon to get personally notified when we make upload. In the meantime, you can join our Facebook page for updates in all our works. The links you will find in the video description. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you on the next project. Do have a blessed week.